Hey there, Danny K come to you from Danny K Gym and Wellness. Today's tip, um, it's a, it's more on you know changing up your workouts. Um, people still are you know asking about you know like how can you change it up? I'm hitting a plateau. What can I do to make it different? You know, intensifying my workout, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> you can still, I mean, definitely. I've always, I always say change up your workout almost every single time you come in if not at least every you know two weeks or something like that because your body gets used to things and then it's like it's not work and i a lot of times i use the analogy of let's say you're going from you know home to work okay you drive home to work you know that that route every single day so well at least five days a week maybe um you know but throw in the mix darkness um, you know, fog, you know, it, even though you know the route, your body, you, you have to sit there and think, oh my God, am I on the road? Am I going the right way? Shoot, did I miss the turn? You know, because you can't see. So you actually have to think about it. So it's kind of like what your body does. If you come in to the gym or you're at home or whatever you're doing, the DVD, the, you know, the same hiking trail or, or whatever it might be, yeah, if you're doing the same thing, your body's like, oh, I know this. I don't have to, you know, I don't have to work. But if you switch it up, like let's say if you're hiking a trail, you know, <clears throat> this way, hike it this way, your body's going to go like, what the frick? So it, it, it's the same thing with, with a lot of different things when you come into the gym. It's not just, you know, changing up different exercises. You could actually change up the the uh, sequences and I've said that before um, there's another thing that you could actually do you know we I've talked some 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 about negative um, reps so negative rep is like when let's say you know if you were you know doing bicep curls so if you do a curl but then you you know go really 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 slow on the down that's a negative um, a chest press if you were you know like you usually you want to lift a little bit heavier than what you can um, and then you know you have a buddy unracking you know taking it off the rack or whatever and you go as slow as you can down to your 90 degree point and then your buddy lifts it up and then you go as slow as you can down so that's a negative um, you know, there's other things too, like a lot of times, you know, when people are doing bench presses um, or even pull-ups, there's a stick point, meaning there's a point that if you could just get past that, if you were just strong enough to get past that, you'd be able to press that weight or do that pull-up, so that stick point. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, sometimes people do, um, you know, just like a lot of times when they're doing a chest press from here to about here is like a stick point. So, you know, sometimes you take, you have people just doing some reps within that stick point and then pressing and then coming back down and doing some reps and then pressing. So they're working that stick point to try and get that stick point a little bit stronger so they can actually lift heavier weight. Same thing with a pull up. You know, if you have that, that beginning stage of that pull up, that's a stick point, you know, you might want to just kind of do some, you know, just baby, baby pulls you know, to kind of get your body used to it and strong within that area and then, you know, pull up. So there's all kinds of different ways that you can change up your routine, not just necessarily changing up exercises, but changing up how you lift. So you can do negative lifts, you can do positive lifts, you can do holds. So, you know, like if you're doing a bicep curl, if you're going from, I'm gonna step back. So if you're going from the bottom up, Sometimes people just kind of hold here and if you want to just hold and make that bicep work like isometrically, you know, um, and then that's kind of getting stronger within that area. Um, there's a different, another um, lift, especially with biceps, we call it 21s. You can do it with other body parts, but it's a little bit harder um, if you don't have like a full, like from here to here is a nice good full range. Um, you know, even with a chest press from, you know, from 90, 90 degrees to here is a good range. So what, what 21s would be, let's do bicep curls, 21s would be from here, you only go up halfway. So you work that seven reps. Then from here, you go all the way up to the halfway point. That's seven reps. And then you go all the way up, all the way down, seven reps. So seven, seven, 
and seven, 21. <clears throat> you can do that with your chest press, you know, you can, you can, you know, and, and it helps work the stick point. You can do seven reps there, seven reps there, and then a full seven reps. Um, but with certain things it might be a little bit harder to do because you might not have that complete full range, you know, triceps, if you're doing the kickback here, it's kind of hard to find your, your halfway point and then your other halfway point, you know, that's not really, it's not really a big, long, you know, motion, if you will, like as in a bicep curl or a pull up or a push, um, yeah, a push up or, or a bench press or something like that. So there's all different kinds of ways of changing up your routine, even doing the same exercises, but just changing up your lifts. So <clears throat> try and integrate that into your workout, changing up your lifts doing negatives, doing positives, doing holds, doing 21s, um, you know, and see how that changes up and gets you results. So the whole thing, when people tell me that they're plateauing, that they've hit, you know, that they've hit a plateau and they're not seeing the results, it's first, my first thing is what's your nutrition? Because that is the key. 85% of what you what you do with your nutrition is how you're going to see results. And if I know that they're on point with that because they've done a, a meal plan or they, you know, tell me what they're doing, then the next thing is how often do you change up your routine? If you come in and constantly do the same thing, same lifts, same exercises, same um, order, you're going to plateau. So change things up, change up not just your order, not just the exercises, change up your lifts. Stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.